Katrina Midlone, favourite venue, favourite place you like to play? Um, when we played in a lot of pitches between club and school and county, um, I'd probably say maybe Carrick Noor. Um, the ground is good there and with all weather that it's great to play on. Um, I'm going to be biased and go for Dr Cullen Park in Carlo. <laughs> well, personally I like playing at home in uh, Luke and Sarsfields, but outside that I really like playing in um, Parnell Park. I played there when I was like under 14, like a halftime show, and ever since then I just had this love for it. And um, last year, or two years ago was the first time I got to play there at adult level, and uh, just it was just a great feeling walking out onto that pitch and having the, actually there was a crowd there that day as well, so it just it's a great ground I thought. Last time you or Waterford won a league final, I'm guessing you haven't been there in about four years. Um, the last time was 2011, the Waterford won it. They beat Leash in the semi-final. I wasn't part of the team that time, but yeah, they won it then. Well, the last time you did win Division 4, Elaine Gallery was captain, and yeah. she's still there? Yeah, she's still here. She's on my side. She's the, the vice captain at the moment, and she's still playing corner forward, wing forward. And um, it's great having her there. She's like, she has the maturity, and uh, she's always uh, good with the words. <laughs> Pre match routine. Tell me a few things you do before the game. Um, well, I don't really have any. <laughs> um, I'd get up in the morning, have my breakfast, maybe go out and hit the wall against the wall or with my brother or something and then we're usually heading off in a car or a bus and that's it then. I wouldn't be too superstitious or anything. Um, I always wear two pairs of socks and d I know which pairs of socks to put on first so yeah that's it really. That's it. Who's your player of the league so far in your division and why? Um, well, there'd be probably a few there's a few younger ones after coming up. Um I missed the first couple of the league games with playing playing with Liz Moore. Um Beck Carthen has been a huge aspect or addition to the team. Um she's been one of the main scorers I'd say for us and she's just she'd be very good. There's a few of the older ones too, the more experienced, Nicola and Jenny, I'd say too, and maybe Trisha Jacqueline. I'm gonna say I'm going to go biased again and I'm going to go Marion Dial from Carlo. And why? It's just her work rate is incredible. Who's the team joker on the Waterford panel this year? Um, Neve Rocket maybe. She'd um, get the team going and have a laugh inside the bus or something. Yeah. So she lives up to her name? She does, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of the best things about getting ready for this league final, what's one of the best things for you? Um, it's great, like we set out at the start of the year, to, we have loads of new players on the team so we set out to just kind of build for uh, the league and build through the league and up to championship and just it's bonus getting here to the final and yeah we look forward to playing Leash. Just that you're there, it's where you want to be at the start of the year and where you aim for and it's just brilliant though, to get there. When you say there's a good buzz around the camp, a good sort of team spirit, mm. are there any jokers in there? There's got to be a few, you've got a big panel there. Yeah, well, we do have a lot of uh, jokers, but to name one or two would be Caroline Canning and Emer Mar. The two of them together are wild, to say the least. Our manager's nearly given out to them more, so. But uh, yeah, they're just they're great to have because like when everyone's serious, even after a loss or any of that, they just pick the team back up and train and won't be the same without them. It's great to have them. And just finally, your brother's Peter Kelly, the Dublin fullback. Are there any discussions at the moment in your? household about the fact that he hasn't made the league final and you have to be honest that subject has been avoided completely and um, there was a couple of days where we just didn't talk about even my win or his loss we just let them settle but uh we were all very disappointed for their loss after having so close to getting into the league final but it nearly makes it easier my mum and dad don't have to decide which match to go to but uh yeah we don't really talk about the losses we more so talk about the wins